What's up, everybody? I'm your boy Evan. We're here on a set of Corsa. We have the full Fanatec rig back out for today. And you guys are staring down that Cadillac ATSV of Austin Minx. So that Voracious Motorsports ATSV, his FD Pro car, is in a set of Corsa. I found it on his Instagram. He posted it the other day about it being in a set of Corsa. So we have his ATSV, his FD spec, and then we have his VDC. ATSV spec which has a little bit more power and stuff like that but today we're going to be ripping his actual FD spec one here on the channel we're going to be doing it in third person as well as we're going to be getting the oculus back out and doing it in the oculus rift s so make sure you guys follow me on instagram twitter all which found in the description box below this uh car model definitely looks amazing i do like how the detail and everything in here the cage and everything it just it looks amazing so we're going to go rip this. We're going to shred it on some FD tracks, like I said, and we're going to be ripping an Oculus Rift S in later. We're going to be doing some third-person stuff first. So we're going to go full send first off here in the car. Not sure. I think we're going to uh, – I think I selected OSW for the first run. I think, yep, VS, VDC, OSW. Then we'll probably go to Irwindale and probably road Atlanta. So why not run some of the actual FD tracks in a pro FD car we're going to leave everything how it sits, but we got to check the audio to make sure we don't blow your eardrums. We're going to leave it how it sits, and we're just going to take this car out. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. I can already tell that this is going to be a lot of fun here for today. It's awesome to see more FD cars and... Oh, just kind of popped that up there. More FD cars and everything coming to this game, and, you know... Other you know, pro cars would be sweet to have, like from the actual drivers that support the car. So we're gonna heat up the tires a little bit, and then we're gonna go run OSW for the first time here in Austin Minx's car, Fortune Auto, Austin 316 on top. Let's right, see what we can do. Hopefully, we don't wreck it. We're gonna kind of stay a little bit lower on the wall so we don't totally biff it right away. Wasn't too bad. High angle there. Oh my, this car's skating. Okay. I definitely need to either adjust tire pressure or something like that, but for the first run out, not too, too bad. We could probably be doing a lot better, of course. But first time out in this car, I actually have no practice in this car, so this is just, you know, bare bones straight from the beginning. Let's see what we can do. Run number two. Walgreens. Here we go. Oh, I didn't stay in power. Man, I am making a mockery of this car right now. I gotta get a good run. I feel like I can. I got some better runs in me. Whew. Car definitely different than much cars that I've driven before. So definitely would take a little bit of getting used to. You know, give it to Austin Minx for being able to throw down with this car. It's definitely a lot of uh, a lot of fun, and definitely looks amazing. There we go. A little bit more feather of the throttle. Staying hard. There we go. Stay in throttle. All right, much. Now we got a full pull. Not perfect on the crease, but we did get a full pull in the car. So let's take a look at that replay of that final run because we did get a full pull. So do you want to see what it looks like in that full pull? The car looks amazing. I can't, you know, stress it up. I love the look of the ATSV and the CTSVs. There we go. You know, we were a little bit easier on throttle. Loving the wheels with the little green accents coming hard off that bank. This next tire is going roundy round. Throw it in there. This car's got a lot of steering lock, I've noticed. So I wonder if the VDC car handles any different than the uh, FD spec one. So let's go test the, the VDC version of it. So the VDC version is on Triasis. So Ooh. the VDC version sounds much different. 
still only have four gears. So we're gonna try this version and then we're gonna head to another track and then put on the Oculus. Yep, definitely sounds different. Definitely power levels are totally different. This one has a bit of a uh, lag because I feel like it's either supercharged or turbo. Definitely stay in power. I like how the uh, FD spec one drives, honestly. But the power is there, so definitely a bit different. So, ooh, whoa, what view is that? Like inside the uh, inside the front of the car. So we are going to exit out, and the camera flips out every time. My camera seems to mess around every single time. All right, so we are here in the Oculus Rift. So the interior of the car looks amazing, and you know, it looks the oh, seats look really comfortable. I like them. So we are here at Road Land. I gotta remember where my shifter is. Been a minute since we've been here in the Rift S. So hopefully we do not get sick. We do have the mod mic on. It's definitely been a minute for sure. Oh, and we're in the grass. We good. So, I'm probably throwing myself to the wolves. I can ruin my handbrakes down here. Road Atlanta, Austin Minx, Oculus Rift S. Let's go. Oh no. And we're already in the kitty litter. Someone saved it though. Yo. So even though our entry is terrible. And that part was terrible. We somewhat managed to make a track run. We're definitely gonna try that again. It's been a huge minute since I've been here in the Rift S. So, gonna take a minute to get used to it. I don't have a body either, which is weird. All right, second run here, Road Atlanta, Austin Minx, Rift S. Second standing cone. Oh man. Did not expect it to snap that hard. What did I what did I expect? It is an FD car. We're gonna shut this run down. So apparently I need to do more Oculus Rift content if you guys want to see more at Rift S content here on a side of course uh, R Factor 2. Let me know down below because apparently. I've kind of lost my uh, my drifting touch, but then again, this is a new car. This cage, let's take a minute to enjoy this cage. Modeling on this car is insanely good. Whoever modeled this car did an amazing job. It's definitely a very well done model. I'm going to try and do this again. There we go. Oh, I should have clutched it. If I would have clutched it, I would have been okay. So, sorry Austin Minks for not throwing your car perfectly 100%. So I think we should throw Irwindale one time in the rift and see where we would do with that. I gotta find my keyboard, where is it? There it is, I found the keyboard. FD Irwindale. This should be fun. 
Now make our way to the track. Running banks in the Oculuses are definitely very different. I hope we have enough gear. I think we're good. So, hopefully we can do this without wrecking the car. Clutch kick entry. A little bit lower on the bank than we probably could have been, but you know what? Oh my, this car snapped. Did not expect it. Wall scrape at the end. Other than that quick snap back, that wasn't too bad of a run. So we're gonna head back to the beginning. We're gonna give it one more shot. Maybe take a look at the replay in the VR, and then go for that today. Run number two. Got the flick that time. Oh, it almost biffed it there. Slowly getting used to the car. Semi decent run here for today. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh boy. We're up in the judges tower. Kind of change views. Oh my, we're in the dude's feet. Like, can't see. We're in like in the back. Trying to find alright. It's definitely a very weird view to watch, but we're gonna watch this. Hopefully this doesn't make me too sick. Look at Nice initiation. This is actually kind of a cool view. We're pretty high on the wall. Those wheels look sweet. That was the flick that kind of messed with me. I mean, it's kind of a cool view if I do say so myself. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, ooh, there was that wall tap. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.